Even though their offices are closed off, the Capital Gazette still published a paper today. The opinion page simply read, today we are speechless. The rest of the paper was left blank in memory of their fallen colleagues. One of those colleagues is Rob Hyacin, the brother of author Carl Hyacin. Rob spent much of his career in the Baltimore, Washington area, but got his start right here in the Bay Area. Nightside's Grady Trimble spoke to his former boss at a Sarasota talk show radio station. Before the call letters faded at this old radio station, it's where Rob Hyacin came to work every day. This picture was probably taken in uh, 78 or 79. Ralph Gennati was the news director at WQSA. He helped hire Hyacin right after he graduated from the University of Florida. You said he had a knack for it right away, you yeah, can tell. Yeah, I knew he would go places. I always hoped it would be radio, but obviously he did well in newspaper. Gennati hasn't seen Hyacin since the start of his career, but the pair kept in touch on Facebook, chatting as recently as last week. Hyacin admitted he felt a little out of place on the radio. I was always a nervous wreck on the air. I really just wanted to write. Then the shooting happened. Gennady saw on the news Hyacin was killed. To think that you had just talked with him as recently as last week and then this happens, that has to make it even harder. Oh, it's, even, it's much harder. I, I can't explain to you the depth of emotion, the roller coaster I've been on with this. Because you've got the nostalgia, the memories that are all very pleasant. And then you've got the realization that they stop. He says Hyacinth's legacy will live on in his family and also in the aspiring journalists he taught. He mentored people. He helped kids become good journalists. And he was somebody that if you knew him, you were proud to know him. In Sarasota, Grady Trimble, 10 News. Gennady says Rob Hyacin only worked at WQSA for a few years. His brother Carl is a longtime columnist at the Miami Herald and a famous author. His family still lives in South Florida.